my dear dear friends this is Daisuke and I very very much hope that this video finds you well and in very very good spirits wherever you are in the world and today if you don't mind I would like to talk about the recent announcement that was made by Criterion the Criterion collection through its website with regard to its planned releases for September 2022 so if you are interested to know what the Criterion Collection is planning for such month in such year, again, September 2022, then it is my strong, strong recommendation that you check out the website directly for more information. It is fantastic. You can find information about the, uh, the films themselves, links to media like trailers were available, specifications, special feature plans, cover art design plans, etc., etc., so is really really great but for now if it's okay I'd like to share with you just some thoughts and comments I have my initial reactions to this announcement regarding the planned releases from Criterion for September 2022 now as uh, is usual with uh, these discussions or discussions like these uh, my comments and impressions might indeed change when uh, it comes time to actually uh, physically and actually uh, exploring the item when it arrives in the mail uh, in September and beyond. So again, anything I say here might be uh, subject to change. I might have inaccuracies. I might be wrong on a lot of things. In fact, I always am wrong with a lot of things. So I try my best to correct myself uh, when I'm able to engage and discuss and explore uh, in terms of my own subjective film journey and the Criterion Collection items. But for now, with that understanding, if it's okay, let me just share with you my initial impressions. And of course, this can provide an opportunity for you as well to share with me and the rest of us through the comments section, etc., how you feel about the planned releases from the Criterion Collection for September 2022. Schedule for release on September 6, 2022. Now, this is regarding a title that currently exists in the Criterion Collection already. So it currently exists at spine number 562, and it is the work from 1981 from the one, the only, Brian De Palma. And my goodness, what a, what a lovely, uh, what a lovely uh, bit of serendipity, as it were, because I am currently re-watching the works of Brian De Palma, including this one. Uh, via this Criterion Collection release, which is the Blu-ray, which I, I have here, of the film Blowout. So this currently exists in the Criterion Collection at spine number 562. However, in September, according to the website, it says here that coming soon, available September 6, 2022, 4K UHD plus Blu-ray combo. And therefore, what that means is this current Blu-ray edition will be joined by another physical media option, that being the 4K UHD plus Blu-ray combo, again, scheduled for September 6, 2022. Wow, 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 my goodness. So yes, there will be an occasion on this channel where we will be talking about the works of Brian De Palma in a, say, a separate video discussion series. Uh, in the context of the Criterion Collection, though, this is, uh, this is stellar news. This is really, really stellar news. This work blowout is a a very uh, it's a, it's a, it's a quintessentially Brian De Palma work, and it's a it has perhaps uh, one of the most sort of mag it has uh, one of the great examples of the Brian De Palma craft and artistry, and with a tremendous number of of suspenseful and a ballet-like, uh, graceful scenes of bravura and uh, cinematic display and audacity that, make Brian, that makes Brian De Palma who Brian De Palma is. And so uh, and you add to the mix uh, Nancy Allen and, uh, and John Travolta and et cetera, and you have this unbeatable combination of cinematic excellence. I mean, this film blowout is 
it, it'll knock your socks off. It's scary. It's frightening. It's also very romantic, very emotional. It's funny. It, it pokes fun at itself. It, it also pokes uh, fun and humor in, the, uh, in terms of, of uh, filmmaking and also the idea of uh, surveillance and also putting together scenes piecing together the clues in a way that is also paying attention to the technical side of things and how that works and the way in which the sweep and the 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 hypnotic also uh, almost very paranoia like atmosphere creeps into because you also have this idea of political espionage and and uh, this idea too of uh, conspiracy theories and uh, uh, assassination attempts and uh, elections and all this so it's it has this uh, very cutting edge feel uh, which in at the end of the day uh, makes for some uh, very suspenseful incredibly entertaining uh, thrill ride dynamics of a film a great example of Brian De Palma's uh, filmography and cinema and also a brilliant example of of uh, 1980s cinema and this is such a great, great piece of news. And so, again, we already have the benefit of this wonderful release from Criterion, the Blu-ray. Uh, it also is currently available, according to the site, under separate DVD release. But now, for September, we will get the further option of the 4K UHD plus Blu-ray combo. And it says here, new 4K digital restoration uh, with 2.0 uh, surround DTS HD master audio soundtrack. Uh, this is for the 4K UHD and Blu-ray. And then in the 4K UHD edition, it says one 4K UHD disc of the film presented in Dolby Vision HDR and one Blu-ray with the film and special features. And it looks like, too, that the special features look to be the same as what are currently made available in, say, this Blu-ray edition. So that includes, I might say, uh, the, great, uh, in the great edition of the feature uh, from De Palma, uh, which is Mur Murder a la Mode. So... Uh, what a great, great film! It has its own connection with Blowout as as well, uh, which is mentioned in the in the uh, the menu. But it's that's such a a, a great, a great feature, early early feature, and that's something too that I, I look forward to talking about in a separate video discussion here on this channel. But uh, and there are other great uh, supplements here worth checking out if you haven't already. In any event, this is this is fantastic. Blowout, Blowout is coming to the Criterion Collection. Here is just the. Uh, the website again. Please, I apologize profusely for my poor uh, my poor uh, presentation skills here. Uh, you can definitely check out the website directly for better resolution. Uh, you can check it out directly, etc. So it looks like it's going to be the same uh, in terms of uh, continuity from the current Blu-ray release in terms of cover art design, etc. Uh, one thing to keep out for maybe uh, packaging, plastic cases will be used. Uh, who knows? So we'll take a look at that when it when the actual item arrives, and of course we'll take a look at the present presentation, the, the 4K uh, release itself and the like. So this is so cool. This is so, so cool. So I cannot wait. Again, September 6, 2022, the 4K UHD plus Blu-ray combo release of the film Blowout. Next up, scheduled for release September 13th, 2022. And this is a film from, or described as being from 2004. And the filmmakers are Sean Baker and Xi Ching Tso. And this is scheduled for spy number 1149. And the name of the work is Takeout. Now here is once again the, the page which has, among other things, the, uh, the the planned cover art design again for takeout now this is a film that uh, I have not seen and I admit it has gone completely outside of my radar and so uh, when I heard this news I tried to uh, check out a little bit about it, but not to go too deep because I, I don't want to read too much into it before I see it so I have not yet seen this but what I I gather from this uh, it looks, it looks very, very, <laughs> very uh, powerful indeed. And so there is also the trailer, which is made available on the Criterion website here on the same, same page. In fact, so I, I went ahead and played that trailer, and so it looks very captivating indeed. So again, here is one that uh, I have not seen uh, from the early two thousands, but uh, it, it has words here like. Uh, uh, this phrase here that the Criterion Collection uses here, 
a neorealist survival thriller of the everyday. So that that's a very enticing uh, write-up of a film, uh, if ever there was one. And so that's uh, that makes it very uh, compelling uh, indeed. So I'm looking forward to this. Now, uh, it says here in terms of the specifications, new 4K digital restoration uh, supervised by directors with uncompressed stereo soundtrack, also with audio commentary, and then new... Uh, interviews and the like. So again, uh, I apologize because my uh, knowledge base on this film is incredibly limited. It, in fact, uh, uh, nil or close to nil. So I don't know anything about any prior uh, release history or the like. So I'm coming at this fresh, very, very fresh and very much uh, uh, unknown. So this is going to be a first time watch in many respects. So I can't speak to any kind of uh, past history release, what has been included in any such past release uh, history, if anything, how that compares. I, I won't be able to do that, unfortunately, but I'll try my best uh, when the uh, item arrives. And so, uh, but, and then of course, watching the film itself. And so there is also the commentary track. So I'll try to watch it first and then let it simmer and then watch it again with the commentary track sometime later. But this looks very fascinating to me. So another fresh watch, uh, one to look out for. And this is the work, which is Takeout. Next, scheduled for release September 20th, 2022. And we have here the Blu-ray disc or two disc DVD option uh, made of it. Oh, I'm sorry. Before I go ahead, I forgot to mention that with regard to Takeout, please forgive me, let me add one thing. According to the Criterion website, Takeout will be made available in a Blu-ray uh, release only. It looks like there are no other physical media options for takeout, so just keep that in mind. It's going to be for a Blu-ray. Now moving on to the next title, which is scheduled for release September 20th, 2022, and this is uh, this is for spine number 1150, described as being from 1994. The name of the filmmaker is Atom Goyan, and the name of the work is Exotica. Right here, Exotica. Um, Wow, this is also, uh, uh, before I forget to, it's going to be on offer for a Blu-ray, single disc Blu-ray, or a two disc DVD. So in this way, we can say that while it's not true for every new release title, there are titles such as Exotica where it looks like the DVD option will be made available. And when we're speaking about Exotica, we're speaking about a film that is, oh my goodness, uh, it is a type of thriller it is a type of psychological portrait it is a it is a visual treat or it is a treat for the uh, for the entire senses of uh, uh, the human sensory condition it is a type of of uh, of a maybe quizzical puzzle it has these mysteries it has a ambience and atmosphere that is so uh, maybe filled with uh, the type of, of uh, depths of human emotion that are on display, uh, also a type of, of uh, uh, sexual-based energy uh, and the like, and so there's and, uh, a sense of uh, maybe a type of emotional pent-up uh, feelings as well as types of release and uh, type of conclusions, which make for incredibly spellbinding uh, filmmaking indeed. Now, I remember when this came out, again, this was in the mid-1990s, and this announced to the cinematic landscape, to the world, uh, this filmmaker, Adam McGoyan, and really just uh, uh, for people who uh, were coming to his works for the first time, this was, uh, this was uh, uh, such a big deal uh, during the 90s, especially during that period of, of uh, independent filmmaking, uh, which was on everyone's uh, minds at the time and so this was a part of that uh, in a very big way and so it, it announced that in a type of, of uh, popular critical consensus atmosphere and then it it really was and is this highly charged work that has uh, so much in terms of the the depths of, or the exploration of the depths of the human soul this is this is great this is really 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 great um, and so I'm Wow, wow, <laughs> this is this is stunning. So um, I've never, uh, you know, I've, I've never, uh, I don't know what the physical media 
uh, history of this is beyond, say, the VHS era days. And so, uh, but so th in that way, this is going to be returning to a film that, uh, you know, I haven't been able to uh, watch, say, in recent years, but I have seen it. And now I did see it a number of times. And so it'll be great to have it now in the context of the Criterion Collection. So wonderful, wonderful stuff. And it looks like, too, that this will be a celebration of the filmmaking of uh, Atomogoyan as well, because we have uh, an inclusion of an audio commentary uh, and also new conversations uh, between Agoyan and filmmaker and actor Sarah Pauly. So, and then also some, uh, uh, wow, uh, uh, other feature films. So Calendar uh, from 93 and also short films uh, from uh, Goyen as well uh, from 1981, 1991 and 2000. So wow, wow, amazing really amazing so this looks like it's going to be packed it's like it's going to be it looks like with with all the feature films and all the short films that are included we can almost count this like a its own little mini box set or something a collector set wow and a goyim collector set interesting anyway it's not labeled as a collector set it is labeled under the title of exotica of course and that is a great great um uh uh that is a great sort of um uh, uh main feature uh in a manner of speaking so wow wow Wow, this looks really exciting indeed. And it also says to new restored 4K digital transfer, uh, supervised and approved by the director uh, and director of photography with 2.0 surround DTS HD master audio on the Blu-ray. And so here we have that, uh, again, the Blu-ray option being made available or the DVD option being made available. So, and check out that cover art. Wow. Okay. Uh, so much uh, excitement in the air already. Uh, for many reasons, including this uh, this work, which is Exotica. Again, scheduled for release uh, on September, excuse me, September 20th, 2022. Wow, wow. But it doesn't stop there because also scheduled for release September 20th, 2022. Uh, this is a work which is uh, described as being from 1943. Uh, the name of the filmmaker is Henri-Georges Clouseau. And uh, this is a film that used to be in the Criterion Collection in a DVD form under spine number 227, but then it fell out of print. So, but now it returns in this new Blu-ray apparently. So the Blu-ray seems to be made to be made available or is going to be made available on the 20th of September. Uh, the DVD still indicates out of print. So we'll have to see if the DVD option will be made available or not. As of now, it looks like it won't, but we can check that later uh, if there are any updates on that. But in any event, the triumphant return in the Blu-ray form here of this film, uh, which is Le Corbeau. Uh, Le Corbeau, wow. Um, what to say about this film? This is a very, uh, very intriguing, dark, uh, uh, quite a, a, in many ways, a very challenging and, in, and uh, a very powerful work. Uh, from the, uh, the mind and cinema of Clouseau. And it has this type of, of, of a fable-like metaphor aspect of the cinema. And there are ties to uh, France and Vichy and World War II, which are undeniable and which make it even more powerful and indeed in many circles quite controversial. And it is uh, a type of, of examination of the surface versus the underlying tensions and hostilities that exist uh, in this uh, very uh, type of story involving uh, also type of mystery in a manner of speaking in terms of who is doing these things in this uh, these terrible things in this uh, this community area so this is there's this is this is a a, a phenomenal work and uh, so, but of course, in terms of the Criterion Collection and physical media, uh, this having fallen out of print, this great DVD having fallen out of print several years back, meant it was one of those titles that, oh, will it ever return or not? Well, now we have our answer. At long last, we have its triumphant return. And in terms of the Blu-ray here, it says, new 4K restoration with uncompressed monorail soundtrack on the Blu-ray. And so uh, that looks to be great indeed. Now, it looks also like the features will be the same features that we had on the past DVD. So I don't know if there's going to be anything new as far as the features. It looks like it won't. There, there will be uh, no say new, but that's okay. That's totally okay if that's the case, or maybe something will change between now and release date. Who knows? But in any event, this film is 
uh, is utterly fantastic. It is compelling. It is uh, very disturbing. It is utterly, utterly fantastic. And the return of this in the context of physical media and the Criterion Collection catalog is huge news. This is really big. Uh, and we, it looks like the cover art's going to be the same. If you look at this current D or the, the out of print DVD, you have this really intriguing use of sort of the handwritten drawing effect, as it were, which is very much part of the, it, it's consistent with the film, one can say. And then we have that seemingly being returned, or this will be part of the Blu ray package when it arrives. Wow. And again, two, this is by number 227. So. Wow, another return of an out-of-print title back into the collection. That is so, so great. Um, and for this film, the Henri uh, Georges Clouseau film, The Cold Bowl, wow. <laughs> wow, I haven't spoken about this, but this will be a great opportunity to speak about this uh, with a little bit more detail when the item arrives. So let us do that. Uh, but in the meantime, yes, we can celebrate this return, this triumphant return, and hopefully this will mean as many people can watch it as possible uh, who haven't otherwise been able to see it due to uh, certain circumstances here, there, or the other. In any event, it's coming back. And wow, this is what a film this is for September 20th, 2022. Spine number 227, uh, Henri Georges Clouseau's film, Le Corbeau. Next, scheduled for release on September 27th, 2022. This is a collector's set, a box set. Wow, thank goodness. This is so exciting. And what a set this uh, looks to be because it is Martin Scorsese's World Cinema Project number four. And this number four WCP set is going to be made on offer in a Blu-ray slash DVD combo. So Blu-ray DVD combo. So, so still here we understand from the past World Cinema Project box sets, number one, number two, number three, and now with number four, well, with the past sets that have already been released, one, two, and three, they have come in these Blu-ray DVD uh, uh, combination packages. So it looks like this number four set is continuing that tradition. Uh, good for you, Criterion, for doing that. I'm, I'm very glad you are sticking with this already established tradition of releasing these WCP sets in this DVD Blu-ray combo pack fashion. I'm very, very happy to see that continued. Also, of course, this means too that in this fashion, uh, the DVD format is still alive and well, so that is great. Now, the, the set itself, uh, this is uh, the set that is appearing to be given the spine number 1142 as a set. And then each of the films, it looks like, will be afforded its own spine number. So this is very, very exciting indeed. The films, they are Sambi Ganza, uh, described as being from 1972. Uh, Prisioneros de la Tierra, described as being from 1939. Chess of the Wind, described as being from 1976. Muna Moto, described as being from 1975. Two Girls on the Street, described as being from 1939. Kalpana, described as being from 1948. What can I say? Um, there's a lot to say. There's a lot to say here. And uh, th these sets, up to now, have always afforded me uh, the opportunity, the great and wonderful opportunity to be able to uh, to maybe open my eyes and to further examine uh, this and further uh, go on my own subjective cinema journey you know, with films that uh, you know, I would not have been able to see otherwise. And so this appears to be uh, yet another example of that, uh, the makings of that. Number four. Wow. Wow. This is so, so exciting. I'm, I'm, <laughs> really, I, gosh, I'm so, uh, words escape me. I, I can't, I can't express well enough in words just how excited I am for this. I didn't know that there would be a number four set. These sets, you, you never know if they're, if they're ever going to be released again, you know? And so to get a number four set, it's great. And to get this in this way is so great. And also too, we have to remember that in 2022, so far, at least if my recollection is not uh, incorrect, 
so far we haven't been seeing a lot of box sets or collector sets, right? I mean, we've seen great packages and we've seen great supplements that are included in these uh, releases so far. We mentioned the Agoyan work earlier. Uh, so that has the makings of looking like its own little uh, collector set in a manner of speaking. But in terms of the packaging, in terms of the, the box set uh, format, etc., we haven't seen a lot of that, right? And compared to say last year, uh, where we saw a lot of those sets. So, uh, so to have this news, not just be the uh, a box set, but also a WCP set. This is great. This is absolutely great. Wow! And then to top it off, continuing the tradition of the Blu-ray DVD combination. So that is that's wonderful indeed. A great celebration of box sets. A great celebration of the physical media format. In the, in the various formats that are made available. And also, of course, ultimately, ultimately, it is about the films themselves. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this. This is, <laughs> this is going to be, this is going to be huge. This is going to be really, really huge. So, um, wow. Wow. What's the date again? September 27th, 2022. That cannot come fast enough in my view. I am, I am over the moon about this so uh, anyway uh, we'll have more to talk about when the item does arrive and the films do arrive and i can't wait to to explore this and then talk with you about these films my dear dear friends when this item arrives so again this is martin scorsese's world cinema project number four and last but certainly not least scheduled for release also september 27 2022 now we have the work which is described as being from 2019 darius martyr Sound of Metal. Uh, and so I he I've heard so many things about this film, and it received a lot of critical acclaim and popular acclaim upon its release uh, for a number of reasons. However, like with many other past or, or recent releases, say from the past five years or so, I have not seen this film yet. I haven't had the chance to. So uh, I am, again, coming at this film very fresh, not having seen it, uh, but I have heard uh, some about it, a lot of acclaim about it. So I'm looking forward to this uh, again very much. Uh, and it looks to here to be a 4K UHD Blu-ray combo as an option or a Blu-ray disc as an option or a DVD as an option. Again, also for spine number 1151 uh, with a number of features. So here we have another example uh, not just of a uh, well, not just of a quote unquote say uh, a recent film from say the the recent uh, f a couple years here two thousand nineteen, which is great news by the way. Uh, we also have a film that is being offered in the various formats, four K UHD. So this is also continuing on with Criterion and four K UHD format, which is great. Again, in the Blu Ray combo fashion, which is great. Or you have the alternative Blu Ray option, which is great, and also the alternative uh, one disc DVD option, which is also great. Again, we haven't seen it for each and every release in cri uh, from Criterion in 2022, but where we do see the DVD option and made available, this is also a cause for celebration. So uh, this is, again, <laughs> this is this is really quite wonderful indeed. Now, again, for me, I'm going to be coming at this film uh, with uh, uh, with absolutely no experience, no expertise when it comes to this. So I'm going to have to watch it and rewatch it and rewatch it some in order to get my bearings. Uh, and then uh, from that basis, I'll be exploring the supplements. It looks like there is there is an, a number. There are a number of things there. Uh, to be made available. Now, I don't know, again, too, what the release history of this is from non-criterion labels and the such, so uh, I don't have that knowledge base, uh, I'm afraid, so I apologize for that. But I will be exploring this uh, to the best of my ability when it arrives. And again, based on what people have told me, and also based on what I have heard, uh, I think uh, we are in for uh, a real treat indeed. So, this is the work, again, scheduled for release September 27th uh, in various formats, uh, from Criterion. This is the work, which is Sound of Metal. So I think that about wraps it up as far as what we can expect for September 2022 from Criterion. Once again, uh, my strong recommendation to you is check out the website directly for more information and more uh, write-ups, uh, links to trailers where available, special, special feature uh, discussions, etc. So 
um, cover art designs and the like. So what to say just as an overall impression. So there are, of course, uh, there are a uh, number of films that I have not seen. So uh, I'm always, always, uh, I, I tend to, when those films arrive, I tend to watch them immediately because I'm always very curious. My curiosity intensity level is quite high uh, when it comes to uh, uh, first time watches for me. And so that will definitely be the case for the, when the title Sound of Metal and Takeout arrive. And then also speaking of uh, returns of sort, or maybe uh, speaking of the uh, the work Exotica. Uh, again, this is this is like this is this is in my heart. This is huge. So I'm I'm also looking forward to this immensely. Uh, what a work this is! Uh, so kind of dazzling and hypnotic. So uh, wow! Uh, and Adam Agoyan, wow, wow indeed. So uh, uh, that's. My, my goodness, I'm, I, I, wow, I, I just, I, ah, words escape me. Words are failing me today. I'm sorry. They always fail me, but in particular today, they are failing me. So I, I, I'm uh, very sorry about that. But let me try to, uh, to, to keep on trucking t uh, to the very end here. Then we go to the Henri-Georges Clouseau work, the return, the triumphant return of this work, Le Corbeau back to the Criterion Collection physical media catalog after a long time out of print OOP status, that, that lonely, sad, sad uh, assembly of letters, OOP. Now we can, uh, can negate that, at least for purposes of this Blu-ray release. Again, we'll see if, I don't know if there's going to be any uh, separate release uh, format available. Maybe it's just the Blu-ray, just the Blu-ray, I say, but still, Blu-ray is great format. So, and the triumphant return. So, uh, once again, this film is, is uh, uh, this is, this what a film, is spellbinding, uh, shocking. Well, just, so just, uh, I can't wait to talk about this in the context of that new release. And again, bravo for being able to get it back. Bravo to, uh, for uh, providing this opportunity again for hopefully as many people as possible to see this work. Again, Henri Georges Clouseau's work, Le Corbeau. Wow, wow, what a film this is. And uh, we have to mention too, uh, two things, right? The Brian De Palma work, Blowout, and again, the serendipity of just my own personal re-exploration of the world of Brian De Palma, coinciding with this announcement about the 4K uh, UHD Blu-ray combo release plans for Blowout, for the film that already exists in the current Criterion Collection physical media catalog, right? But we have this new additional option made, being made available. Wow, wow, and... Uh, <laughs> This film, Blowout, is a, a, a mind-bender of a film. This is a knockout. Blowout is a knockout. Wow. Um, so, uh, we will talk about this uh, in, at least in the context of the Criterion release, and uh, hopefully I can also speak about it separately. Uh, because uh, there's uh, there's a lot that uh, there's a lot that makes me very excited you know, when it comes to blowout in this film. My goodness, my goodness, and in the 4K. Oh gosh, uh, my goodness, my goodness. Anyway, wow, and that's the start of September, right? And then we have the end of September uh, in terms of the release slate here uh, for this twenty. Uh, that's a blowout for the sixth of September, and then for the twenty seventh, the tail end of the month, we have this triumphant. Uh, uh, addition to the uh, Martin Scorsese World Cinema Project series, this time number four, and uh, a box set, a collector set, Blu-ray, DVD combo. DVD is still alive in this great fashion, setting the tradition or continuing on the tradition that we saw in the past WCP sets. If those past WCP sets are any indication, we are in for a kind of of we are in for cinematic delights galore indeed with number four. So uh, this is the one for me. This is the one that I'm looking out for. <laughs> when this arrives, gosh, uh, you know, I, I, yeah, I'm just, you won't be able to pull me away from the, the, the set, you know, it'll be that kind of intensity. Wow, this is so exciting. So, so exciting. I, I circle that, highlight it uh, with 
with emphasis emphatically say, I am super, super excited for, in particular, well, this, these releases overall, but in particular for the World Cinema Project number four. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This is, this is a great month indeed, September 2022. Wow, what a month. What a month indeed. So, uh, my dear friends, uh, and also I should say too that, as we were saying in past discussions, collector sets and the like, maybe we're seeing uh, quite a, a noticeably fewer number of sets, if any, when compared to, say, previous years. But here we have at least uh, an answer uh, to that. Here at least we have one set, a uh, robust set in terms of physical media form anyway, you know, if, any, if the past uh, one, two, three sets are any indication. Because those are huge, robust sets, and they're great for that. And so number four, hopefully, will continue on with that tradition. So in that way, great, we have this box set, and hopefully it might be an indication. Hopefully, fingers crossed, of things to come. Again, I've, I've been anticipating, hoping, and uh, just wishing that there might be some separate announcements from Criterion about maybe are they planning this or planning that. So far, to my knowledge, nothing, right? So... Uh, outside of these, uh, you know, the, and these monthly announcements on or around the fifteenth. So, uh, if you hear anything about maybe any possible separate uh, announcement of a box set or, or release, pl please let me know. Uh, I'll certainly keep on looking. But uh, in the meantime, I'm perfectly, I'm content, I am satisfied uh, in terms of the releases announcements so far. And in terms of what we have been discussing as far as the actual releases that have occurred so far as well. Uh, and uh, September, if uh, September is any indication, yes, this is going to be a very, very exciting time indeed. The excitement keeps on going, does it not? And it also leaves me with a lot of anticipation for what Criterion has in store for announcements October, November, and December and beyond. Wow, wow, wow. In any case... What a great month. So, uh, my dear friends, what do you think? Uh, please let me know. Let us know in the comments section below. As always, I'm always, always, always happy to hear your uh, thoughts and comments and reactions, whether they be uh, uh, positive, uh, whether they be not so positive. It's ev Anything is okay, my dear friends. Uh, anything you want to say, anything that you feel, anything that you respond to, uh, uh, and in, in your own way, please feel free to share it with me. I'm, I'm so honored uh, that uh, uh, I'm able to receive comments from you. I feel very, very honored indeed. So uh, however you feel, uh, again, uh, this is something that I value very highly. Your opinions are things I value very, very highly. So uh, yes, so my dear friends, please let me know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, I am uh, I'm always very, very happy to hear from you. So uh, thank you very much, my dear friends. And so until we meet again, please be happy and healthy and well. And please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. Thank you so much, as always, for your time. I very, very much appreciate it. Stay strong, stay safe, and cheers.